In this video, we provide the solution to question number five from practice exam number two from Math 1050, in which case we have to solve the absolute value inequality. The absolute value of five minus two X is greater than or equal to one. Some things to remember with absolute values, absolute value is never negative. It's always positive or zero. Therefore, if you have an absolute value that's greater than or equal to a negative, then you'd get all real numbers. That'd also be true if you had zero, because again, absolute value can't be smaller than zero. So we could have all real numbers. Uh, that's not happening in this situation. You should also be cautious that absolute value can never be less than or equal to a negative. You'd get no solution. Similar things happen there. Now that's not the case on this exact exercise. Here we just want to be greater than or equal to one. So what we can do is we can consider the two cases. There's the positive case where five minus two X is greater than or equal to one, or there's the negative case where you have five minus two X is less than or equal to negative one. We do have to flip the sign in the negative case like so. And then we proceed to solve these, uh, these two inequalities. They don't exactly overlap, but nonetheless, the process of solving it's gonna be the same. And by the, in either of the two cases, you're gonna subtract five from both sides. Uh, on the original positive case, then you end up with negative two X is greater than or equal to negative four. And then in the original negative case, you're then gonna get negative two X is less than, in this case, negative six. Now we're gonna divide both sides, well, both inequalities on both sides by negative two. What's good for the goose is good for the gander. In which case, in the end, we end up with X is, because we divided by negative two, the sign will switch around. So we get X is less than, in this case, a positive two. Or in the other case, we're gonna get X, again, we divided by negative two, so it flips the inequality around. X is greater than three. Negative six divided by negative two is a positive three. So we want X is less than two or X is greater than three. The first inequality here uh, does become an interval, negative infinity to two inclusive, because we do have, we're allowed equal to two, less than two or equal to two, equal to two. The or symbol, or the, I should say the or here means we're taking a union. And then we want also X is greater than or equal to three. So bracket three towards infinity. Uh, that would be our solution in that situation, for which then we can quickly see that the correct answer would then be choice A.